Welcome back, senpais, to the Nagatoro Every Week podcast. I'm Tectonic Improv, and this is Avenge. How's it going? We are back to discuss the anime of the season, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, or as it's known in Japan. Is, is this a lead-in? Ijiranade Nagatoro-san? We're four weeks in. By, by, by the end of this, we're going to be like mind linked and be like ultimate podcast duo it's still a little early on so we're, we're already on the same page about just about everything we even finish each other's sandwiches yes <laughs> <laughs> so we that's crazy so we watched episode four and i was talking i was talking to a vange audience about this before we were recording literally five minutes ago but there's not really a lot to talk about with this one yeah, you, you you know what they say. Sometimes anime episodes are like gotcha pawn machines. You just sometimes you just don't get a good one. You just don't get a good poll. <laughs> I didn't think the episode was bad. I just don't think that there was a lot. There wasn't a lot of uh, substance here. There was a lack of uh, the p word. And and as we all know, we us Nagatoro fans, we 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 take that p word like 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 fucking mainline that shit. And if we don't get it, we get upset. But again, yeah, yeah, I didn't hate no, it. I mean, I, I I know our our audience comes here for hard hitting critical anime analysis. They can't find it some, anywhere some, else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so there's there's just really not a lot of content just to yeah to discuss in this episode. We're not, but don't don't worry, dear viewer. There's still there's still things to discuss. Don't you worry. I still wrote notes. It's just going, it's just not nearly as much as the last couple. But, um, I like I think this is kind of, this is just kind of how this show is going to go. No. From now on. No, no, it can't. No, 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 no. You're saying, Evan, are you trying to imply the show lacks content? Uh, 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 moving on. Um, the, the opening, the opening gag of the episode is like, uh, you know, it's like that urinal meme where where she goes into this, this entire trough like she could have washed her hands anywhere she goes to wash it right next to senpai isn't that interesting yeah so as i've been doing through this whole time i'll i'll say this so this leads in uh to the, with the beginning of chapter seven just basically the entirety of chapter seven which is just kind of a short simple one but goddamn, do they make it <laughs> more i don't know Lewd. I hate. I don't like using the word lewd. It's the I don't, word I don't, lewd. I don't like the implication like, of it. It's so lame. Let's 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 be honest. Like the people who do say that are kind of lame. Yeah. No. You sound like you watch anime. If you yeah, say that. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's like a it's like a it's like a weeb word, and I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know any other way to describe it. Though. That's the problem. Like it's <laughs> it's like a good word to use, but it just like it's overused as hell it's like the word to use in this situation but uh well, I just feel for lack of a better term it. lewd yeah so because she's so she's he's washing his hands our guy's washing his hands nagatoro as she does rolls up and just, just starts fucking with him and at, just starts fucking jacking off his hands I, yeah <laughs> it's crazy it, it's most uh, like I feel like most of the budget went into that the, the hand jerk off scene. Pretty much. I don't know if we're just gonna get stop motion for the rest of the season. Yeah, the budget's spent. This is their uh, and... this the the rest of the show is just gonna look like Ava episode like twenty four and twenty five. Yeah, no this this was the money shot. Yeah, for sure. I, and and I think we talked about this before. You know, makes sense. It's the beginning of the episode. Got to get them hooked in. Got to you. Got to get the coomers in, right? <sighs> yeah. No. As has been a trend. Yeah, and and I like this for the first half of this episode is probably the most. Uh, maybe it's not the most coomer of all of them, but it is definitely it's the most like embarrassing one to be caught watching so far absolutely and i i would argue this is the most coomer episode because they take artistic liberties in making it more coomer they've been they've been kind of doing that already they've been they've been pumping up the fan service a lot and, and but but like you said last week they also like 
got rid of some stuff like the 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 succubus costumes which is really weird you think they'd keep yeah that. yeah no it's they're sending mixed messages really mm. and they've continued to kind of do the same thing with this episode too because the main episode the, the main i guess after our, our little like the opening gag or whatever you want to call it when they get into the episode, I, hey, I'm really glad that we're starting. We're seeing more of her friends now. I know I like, that starts yeah. to happen as we get farther into the series. I like, I like that. It's, it's nice that they, you know, they introduced. I, I, I didn't know if they were gonna like show up so soon again, but uh, I'm glad. I'm glad they seem to be more of a mainstay. Although we haven't seen Sakura since I think the first, second episode. Is that the name of like the blonde one? Yeah. Well, well they're, okay. They're all kind of blonde, which is. I, I'm still True. not over. I'm still not over Gamo's hair. I do not. She, she's like the it. most blonde. She. I, it, well, I've, I've always like had the idea in my head that her hair is orange. So I don't really know where this is coming from with you. I just. I never saw it. I never thought her hair was orange. <laughs> but the thing is, is that like her hair almost looks. It looks like Yoshi's hair, which is weird. Like you think they give them different hair colors, but in this episode in particular, it's looked the most the same. Would you not agree? Yeah. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from. Mm. Well, there's that at least. But yeah. but yeah, so like the the whole like plot of this like first episode is is Nagatoro's gone, so Senpai is their plaything. And and they're they're gonna make him touch boob. And uh Sen- Senpai's gonna get to get to first base. Second base, right? Second base? Not that it I depends would depends on your definition. Touche. I mean, Damn. he kind of already did, didn't he? Didn't in like the last episode he accidentally touched her boob? I'll be honest, I don't quite remember. <laughs> uh the 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 audience will correct us, I'm sure. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments if he touched boob in the last episode. Let me see if uh maybe I wrote notes down for it. Touch boob, touch boob, touch boob. I'm not seeing anything about touch boob. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway, uh, I mean, let's be honest. There's only so many gags you can do, right? Like, there's touch, true, touch true. boob, touch, touch crotch, boob, um, touch boob again, touch, touch right boob, touch left boob. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So we solved. I, I kind of want to get into the. We. D- yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we should write our own manga. <laughs> we should start a podcast. We're pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree, man. So. I want to get into some of the artistic liberties they've taken with this episode Lamar and how me. they're like editing together the chapters. Cause th- this, this episode or this like part of the episode is kind of like a weird Frankenstein's monster <laughs> of like chapter 16 and chapter 19. You seem none too pleased about this. It's not that I'm not pleased. I actually think they work it together pretty well. It's just kind of odd. Cause they do end up cutting like, all of chapter is it is it 16 or 19 i think it's 16 because it it starts out the same way in chapter 16 because both chapter 16 has or okay no i remember now it starts the same way as chapter 19 does but they like do some weird (laughs) editing where in both chapters her friends like walk into the art room but they they enter as they do in chapter 19, but then they use the dialogue from chapter 16. It's really weird. I can imagine that uh, I haven't read the manga in forever, so uh, I didn't notice this, but I can imagine if I was hot off rereading the manga that that would fuck me up, yeah. Yeah, so they basically cut out this entire, like, the entire chapter of, like, Nagatoro wants to give him a haircut. Hmm. So... Like she, she like goes to grab a razor or something or a comb. I don't know. And then her friends show up and they like start threatening to like shave his hair. And Nagatoro comes back and gets pissed at them, which is basically like the same premise as this episode. But maybe that's why they. uh, Maybe that's why they decided to like kind of morph these episodes together because they figured that they're kind of the same ish idea with like a different like subject almost. Yeah. There's a lot of overlap with like her friends fucking with him and then like her getting protective of him. Yeah. So I, I I can see their reasoning for it. It's a uh, for for a bit. I was I was proud. I was proud of our boy senpai. He touched he touched big boob and it was very awesome. But then it turned out he not touched big boob. He touched he touched 
honey bun i don't for i on pawn it's it's like it's like a red bean bun i think how could he not know <laughs> how does that no way that feels Look, like a bo- you you okay. hear the cellophane let's let, let's say hypothetically well okay for, for, let's just say maybe he didn't hear the cellophane he hy- hypothetically you are i don't know how old is he 16 i'm gonna guess 16 Something 15 like at the youngest well he's yeah he's uh He's an upperclassman to Nagatoro, who I think is a first year, so I think he'd be like sixteen or something. Yeah, so let's let's say let's say you're sixteen, and you're a nerd, and you've you, you've never felt the the tender touch of a woman before. Yeah, I in, in can't any relate. capacity. <laughs> so, let's, I I think it's pretty reasonable that he wouldn't know whether you're touching a boob or whether you're touching a, a red bean bun. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, all right, I'll give so, him a pass. Uh, the second time, though. Second time. That's, that's yeah, just no. ridiculous. Like, come on, that's, dude. How can yeah. you not tell? And th- th- this is one of the, the parts also where I'm, I'm getting mixed signals from the animators. Because he doesn't actually, like, grab her chest. Like, she doesn't even do the entire bit where she's like, hey, here, I'm going to put the, the buns in my, in my shirt now and I'm going to have you grab my tits. That doesn't happen at all. So, like, they're... <laughs> They're, they're like they just like made up a plot yeah. so that he could he could grope her boob so he could touch boob yeah i swear to god he touched boob though already hmm. uh, Is this... i feel like he did think... at the end of the, at the end of the last episode yeah yeah because oh you know what he did he didn't he didn't like he didn't grope it. He 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 like he like smacked it. Remember in that like oh, comedy duo thing? Right. That was what happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. So he didn't really. Now. It didn't really count. He got like he like at best he backhanded it. Yeah, he like backhanded boob. And this time yeah. he got like a he I, I mean for lack of a better word, he copped a feel. Yeah, no. He got a handful. Uh, more than that, even. He was he was yeah, really milking yeah. it there. And I want to say that like <laughs> uh First of all, I'm I'm liking this I'm liking this thing Nagatoro's been doing where she starts clapping around like an otter. I think it's really funny, <laughs> and she does it more than once in these episodes, which is great. Yeah, I I did I noticed that. And uh and second off uh the the is like is this like a Japanese thing to for like the premise of like a golden ticket like snack food. Is that a thing over there? Because that's not really a thing over here, as far as I know. I think it's kind of a trope, yeah. Because it's it's definitely not a thing over here. Because like all school lunches are the same. You get in a line, everyone gets like a piece of pizza or corn or whatever. So stop me if you thought the same thing I did. But when she when they started talking about the ultra rare bean cake thing, my first thought was that episode of Yu Gi Oh GX. <laughs> where they where they want where they have to find the golden egg witch and they can never find it because some other guy some some like jungle man who lives in the woods of Duel Academy keeps stealing them at night because he's practicing on how to not brick his hand in duels <laughs> do you did you even watch Yu Gi Oh GX? Am I am I? I I I've only watched the later seasons of Yu Gi Oh GX. <laughs> this is watched, the first like, the... season episode. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> you, probably I've seen I watched like the original back back in the day when yeah. it was like airing, and I've only seen the later seasons recently. But <laughs> I, I I know like the trope you're talking about. It's definitely a thing in other anime where it's like oh the the legendary beef noodle bowl that our our school's cafeteria only serves once a year kind of deal. Like it's fucking food. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Look at it? No, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's it's gonna be delicious. I can't believe we've managed to talk for this long about this almost nothing. We, we gotta episode. make content somehow. Yeah, I mean, this we're doing this for you, viewer. All right. Yeah, we're dragging this out for you. Yeah. So. But let's not. And, and, and another thing. And another thing. I, I got. I got to keep. I got to keep getting my licks in here. Okay. Look, I I know we're all aficionados in in some respect. Okay. What well, I I don't know. Pick your poison, boo, but whatever. Mm. But they're they're really taking they're really taking the content away. From from some of our from some of our viewers with with more particular tastes, they've been kind of they've being, been kind of milking the boob thing, yeah. 
They've been, they've been, they've been, they're, they're kind of running it into the ground. It's, it's a dead, <laughs> it's a dead meme. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I guess what I'm trying to get at, not even trying to get at, but what, what I'm trying to complain about is that they cut out that, or what they switch for like the boob gag is her being like, Hey senpai, you know, the skin on your, the back of your arm really feels like a boob if you grab it. Right. And he, he grabs it and he kind of like feels up her armpit a bit. Oh my God. Look, <laughs> I'm mean, I'm looking out for you, dear viewers. Not even not even butt. You're talking about armpit. That's crazy. Surely, yeah. I could see that being a a, a starting gag, or something. I wouldn't count it Maybe. out just yet. Maybe they'll bring it back. Don't who knows? Don't uh, armchair bros, uh, armchair <laughs> <laughs> armpit bros. You <laughs> the, 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 don't lose hope just yet. There's still like what. Uh, like seven more episodes this of this crap of the slop uh yeah like seven or eight yeah depending, pl- 11 or 12 episodes i'm guessing plenty of time plenty of time yeah look look the show is still early on that statistically most people like boob so you know they gotta they gotta start with the boob and then they'll kind of they'll kind of ease it into the other stuff christ we can only hope fingers crossed all i'm saying yeah so, so talk- should we get into the next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next Let's part talk about episode. this next one. Yeah, I think we, I think we spun our wheels enough. Yeah. So like this one is just uh, original. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Before I forget, mm. uh, I, 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 I just remember the the mid card in the episode. Just after this, they they show him like in like a cafeteria or a bakery or yeah. something and there's there's a rack of like these these buns and he's like grabbing his crotch and like looking really embarrassed in front of it yeah and then they also show him like just like in a card in his bedroom with two buns on a pillow in front of him and he's like bent over grabbing his crotch again oh i just <laughs> realized that that's that's i, I, <laughs> I, I think can't... they're trying to imply that our boy's got a new fetish. Not this, this is Nagatoro's fault. She has irreparably damaged this boy. She's awakened him to feelings he never knew he had. Terrible feelings, All right. even. I, I just needed to bring that up, because I thought I thought that was neat. Just thought that was interesting. Just thought that was interesting. I'm glad you did, because it <laughs> completely went over my head somehow, even though it's the most obvious thing in the world. I guess I was too busy making notes. All right, but but this second one... It, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh the premise of of the the second part of the first episode but again i think that was which one it was it's it's another drama senpai episode and it won't be the last but uh, it definitely won't be but uh you know you, you know it's a, it's a tried and true it's like it's almost like the backbone gag of the series really yeah and it, it's it it's it's not just a really a repeat of the gag. It's I think this is probably the first like plot like con- continuous like portion of the show we've had that's not like episodic, where it's like because he like he like drew her last time, but he like was nervous and like fucked around yeah. and like wasn't able to draw her crotch because he was embarrassed. Yes, but this so, one, like this one he was obviously a lot better about. Uh, this time he's gotten used to Nagatora more, and she like he still isn't able to draw her while she's like sitting like up awake mm. and then so like later she falls asleep and he's able to draw her yeah and it actually it actually comes out well this time so it's some character growth for our boy it's, is it is it progress is it i i i, I think it might be progress yes oh god oh god oh oh thank goodness this this is this is crazy so and and but just just like last time it's one step forward two steps back mm. so uh, again with the way the studio has been doing their own like artistic interpretations of this they, they changed up like the outcome of it again because he ends up like drawing her really well and she like sees it and she really likes it and, and yeah and she rewards him with a kiss a kiss yeah in in the original like chapter it's like heavily implied that he closes his eyes and we see her kind of like off frame, like lean in to kiss him. And then mm. she like coyly is like, hmm, did I? And then she runs away. And this one, they're just like, it's no, more... she pressed up a, she pressed a toy up against his lips and then just like laughed at him. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of, that does, that does like kind of change the context a lot. Hmm. Interesting. 
Well, I yeah. gotta say, that's not the only terrible thing she does in this episode. In the beginning, if you recall, when she shows up, she's dragging a sofa into the room. I you, really, you, you think that's horrible, really? I was so triggered watching that happen. And I'm going to explain oh. to you, Evange, and dear, dear viewer, why. I am a janitor by day, an <laughs> epic content creator by night. I work in a place where furniture needs to be moved uh constantly and if you drag furniture across the ground especially if it's tile you completely ruin the tile it just leaves marks that that won't go out until until you do significant work to them that can't be done in an average day it needs to be a project so nagatoro dragged this fucking sofa god knows how long and probably made like the biggest marks throughout the entire school i would have been so pissed i i, I immediately i saw her dragging it in and i was like no no stop stop get someone to help you please no just lift it just lift it god damn it basically i had this problem this exact problem uh earlier this year <laughs> when when, when <laughs> Oh my god. When when people came in, uh, when the the people working not maintenance were moving stuff around, their own stuff around and were uh needed one stuff or some things in another room, they would drag them and we'd have to run to them and be like, "No, let me help you." And then we carry them. I would oh my god. All right, so yeah, that's the terrible. That's that's the first terrible thing she did. This the second part is what I thought is really funny is she brought the casting couch to the art room, which is pretty funny, <laughs> pretty cool. Is it is it the casting couch really? No, it's 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 just the couch. <laughs> yeah, it's just the it's casting just couch, couch is brown. I think I think you're I think you're reading a little too much into it. Yeah, and and the, what what I think is funny is is that uh what was it senpai was talking about. You know, he's worried about he's worried about committing sexual harassment to Nagatoro when just one episode ago he he literally like touched touched her boob for fifteen seconds like consist like consecutively. I he's kind of already in too deep. What's he gonna do? Do more? Yeah, I don't know. I I can I can see like this is a gag. Obviously, he's, yeah, it's, it's it's a gag. It's a gag. Obviously, like, but okay, well, let's read too much into it, though. Yes, let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's. So, again, consider yourself, uh, imagine yourself, average 16-year-old high school guy. Okay. You touch boob, you're super fucking embarrassed. You, you just want to, like, forget about it. You don't want to think about it. I mean, you, you're going to think about it, but you don't want her to remember it. You don't, you don't want anyone else to remember it. So now, also a high school boy who has barely talked to a woman before... I, I completely get where he's coming from being that kid in high school where it's just like if I like compliment her I'm like basically like like is she gonna take it the wrong way is she gonna like is she gonna <laughs> think I'm like like I, I got a thing for her yes so I don't know I, I think I, I saw a little bit of myself in Senpai when he's just like afraid to like give someone a compliment would you say that he's totally you that's that's like totally me oh my god this guy's just like me yeah, no. So I, I actually I did relate to him a little bit for that portion. So I want to ask you another question, and it uh, Hit. it has to do with the it kind of has to do with the kiss gag scene at the end, where uh, uh, do you think in the current venture of this manga he gets that kiss? I think we're coming up on it. I think we're close. Uh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree. Do you think the series ends on the kiss? Uh, I think it does. I really mm, not on don't it. want it I, to, but I could see it ending him or uh, Nanashi deciding to just end it there. But I would like to see, you know, not a lot of these romance not mangas. It, it, it's all about the chase, right? And, you know, once, once you, once, once, the main couple gets together there's really no point in theory but i'd like to see them together that'd be cool i'd like to see them and i i'm also afraid of the possibility of the kiss 
and then 30 more chapters of him wondering if she likes him or not i uh i will i will that would never be read magator nakatoro again if that if that happens i will be so pissed i ha- i pray to god that nanashi is smarter than that please I don't know if I've brought this up on the podcast before, but have you heard of the concept of big Rewa energy? No. What's that? So, with the changing of the Emperor, like the old one stepping down and like his son like taking the oh. throne in Japan, the the era changed. It's I don't the know Rewa what it was before, era, but right? Yeah. It's the, it's the Rewa era now. Because the Heisei and era with, just changed. Okay. And yeah, and with that has come maybe it's just a coincidence but maybe it's just a changing of the times uh many uh romance and rom-com uh manga have have had significant progress in ways that <laughs> series of the past don't anymore with things like this, this is a spoiler for kaguya sama so you can skip a little bit ahead if you uh, if you don't want to hear this spoilers think, for kaguya things sama like love is war. skip to 26 minutes 27 seconds thank you I guess I can just make implications. Uh, the the, uh, the say it. The, I'll timestamp it. Okay, they fuck. Whoa, nice. And it keeps going. All right. It it doesn't just end. Uh, can so, I get but, a can I get a my man? My man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but it's basically just there's just a trend of romance manga just like actually showing and having real progress, not just ending as soon as they like hold hands. Do you think that has to do with the, 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 is it Shinzo Abe? You know, you know that meme where he's, he's like always trying to get people to fuck because, because the population in Japan is, is at an all time low or something? Is, do you think that has something to do with it? Maybe a little, although funnily enough, Shinzo Abe is not the prime minister. Yeah. It's someone else now. Yeah. It's some other guy. Or maybe woman. But I, I think that might've had a little bit to do with it. Just Shinzo Abe just begging the Japanese people to have, just please Please have please children. Bone. Please bone. Please, please have sex. Oh my god. Our birth rate is so low. <sighs> Where was I going with this? Uh, you were, <laughs> you, you had a theory that. Oh, we were, we were talking that, about progress. That Nagatoro would, wouldn't end on the so, kiss. I have a dream. Mm, same. That the kiss will happen and we'll keep going. But with just the with the glacial progress of this and many other series like it, I'm just not sure. And it scares me. Hey, it could be worse. Could be, uh, could be that Comey, that Comey manga. Yeah, it could be worse. We could be 300 chapters in and have like six fake confessions. That's psychotic to me. That's psychotic that it's one piece is a thousand something chapters. And what the fuck was, what the fuck was Luffy at, at chapter 300 something? I, he was, I, he he was definitely past the grand line. Uh he might have this that might have been fucking water 7 was chapter 300 something. So hmm. so well, like let's go back. Let's we'll let's we'll let's fact check that for the next episode. Yeah. Well, we'll it, it, hopefully I'll remember viewer and I'll uh, I'll tell you what chapter whatever compare the chapters of Komi and see and see who comes out on top. Comey I'm down to spend piece. as much time as we need in this podcast shitting on Comey San. Okay, I've never can we, can we just read make the it. podcast that now. Cute. Yeah, that's about all it has going for it. Okay, well, but this can. isn't the the Comey San every week podcast. We'll be doing that. Not yet. We won't be doing that when Comey San airs because it's never going to get an anime. Fuck you guys. <laughs> well, apparently this is the Nagatoro every week podcast. Yes, and what a success! Sorry, what a successful week it's been. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I don't know. Are you going somewhere with that? I'm really not sure. No, not really. Uh, I, 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 I said all. I said all the things I wanted to say about about these two episodes. Yeah, I'm about. I'm about done. I'm spent, I'm, bro. I... I just hope. I just hope that next week's episodes. It, again, this episode wasn't bad or anything, but there it didn't leave us with a lot to talk about. Yeah. No. I ho- hopefully next week we get a bit more. Uh, bit more to sink our teeth into Mm. yeah fingers crossed uh all right so with that um i guess we'll sign off uh we'll see we'll see all you senpais next week uh goodbye 
Catch you later. Are we calling our viewers senpai?